So let's talk about tech layoffs. I know that you've seen it all over social media, such as YouTube and even TikTok, about how all of these companies are laying off tech employees. So you're asking yourself, is it even worth going into? Did, it, did I wait too late or is it even worth it? I get it. Because in October of 2025, we saw over 153,000 layoffs announced in one single month. That, my friend, is the largest wave in more than 20 years. And yes, tech jobs led that wave. So the question becomes, is now still the right time to pivot into tech? Or should you just wait or just give up altogether? Let's talk about it. So in this video, we're going to talk about where data analytics fall in the middle of all this tech layoff and whether or not you should still pivot into tech. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First, those layoffs didn't happen just because tech was dying. So let's just go ahead and nip that in the bud right there. During 2020 through 2022, online demand exploded. Everyone was at home. Companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, Google hired tens of thousands of people to keep up. But when the world normalized and when AI tools started automating some internal work, those companies didn't need the same size teams anymore. So instead of the companies just saying, oh, well, we made a mistake because we overhired, they actually needed a scapegoat. Well, arise AI. So since AI was already starting to normalize, or shall I say automate some of their internal work, they're basically just saying, oh, well, we just decided to just go ahead and just allow AI to just take over those jobs, when in actuality, you were really trying to trim down the excess fat. So they didn't just cut across the board. They cut very specific types of roles. Engineering teams working on experimental features. Corporate overheads like finance, HR, and marketing I know the company that I was working for, we let go of our entire marketing department. I remember that. Government contractor roles tied to federal funding. If the funding is not there from the government, then there are no roles. These types of roles are very expensive and long-term investments. So when there is time for them to start making changes, these are the first types of jobs to be restructured. So your fear is valid. There is no way that I am going to water that down or even dismiss it. You have every right to be concerned because again, this is your future and your livelihood that you're putting on the line. But it is also important that you understand these tech layoffs were not wiping out data analytic roles. So where does data analytics fit in all of this tech layoff? Because what you fail to understand is that data analytics is a whole nother category of its own. We as data analysts are not about building products. That's not what we do. It's about making business decisions. So when companies are under financial pressure, they're very highly to want to know more about how they can save on cost. What are some of the uh, improvements that they can do efficiently? They want better forecasting. Also, they want to know about customer retention strategies. And so with that, you cannot do any of that without data. So the companies that rely heavily on data analysts are going to be healthcare because they focus on patient outcomes, billing accuracy and compliance banking and credit unions where i work because we work on fraud detentions and risk modeling and reporting insurance claims analysis loss modeling and pricing adjustments retail and e-commerce because they focus on inventory customer behavior and product mix logistics and supply chain they uh, focus on route optimizations and warehouse efficiencies these sectors are actually hiring consistently even when big tech companies are slowing down because they don't sell technology they run businesses and businesses run on data. So coming soon, there will be actually a full video of me breaking down the top companies that are currently still hiring for, uh, for data analysts for 2025 going into 2026. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. So let's talk about AI. This is one of the major questions that I get a lot, especially during my one-on-ones. It is the main question I get asked every single time. Is AI going to replace my role as a data analyst? And so my thing is, is that I'm here to tell you that AI has changed the landscape. Not the way that social media has made it sound. Yes, AI can clean data. AI can summarize. AI can generate SQL. But AI cannot decide which questions to ask validate messy source data, understand context, and communicate insights to leadership. So what this means is the data analysts that thrives in 2026 are the ones who learn analytics plus automation. And that is exactly what my next video will be about. So should you pivot into tech? Let's ask these questions. Is your job still draining you? Has it capped your income? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? 
and it's not giving you the skills to be able to improve your future, then yes, pivoting into tech still makes sense. So if you move strategically and not impulsively, you can build a great project for you to be able to use and talk about in your interview. You'll have the time to update and recraft your resume to make a business outcome focused. Getting the opportunity to have confidence in telling stories about your project in your interviews. So I want you to hear me and I want you to hear me good. Come, come in closer. Come in closer. Your fear makes sense. Again, I'm not going to dismiss that. You have every right to be concerned. But also allowing your fear to stop you is going to come with a cost as well. Data analytics is still stable, flexible, and still a well-paying path. And I'm actually going to show you exactly how you can do that in my very next video. So, again, I didn't want to go too far into details about all the tech layoffs because there are so many other videos that are out there that are talking about it. I'm just here to make sure that you stay on the straight and narrow. I'm trying to make sure that you still move forward in your pivot. I'm trying to let you know that this tech, uh, the tech layoffs, did not affect everyone. and didn't affect all tech positions across the board, only very specific positions. Okay, so you can still have an opportunity to pivot into data analytics. Okay, because girl, I need some help. <laughs> so if you feel like this video helps you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel to be able to reach other people. I just thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.